United States' first Native Hawaiian Lieutenant Governor, who went on to become an influential state Supreme Court Justice and Bishop of State Trustee, has died. William Richardson was 90 years old. KITV4's Keoki Kerr is here with a look at one crucial court decision that he wrote that affects everybody and goes to the beach here in Hawaii. Keoki? Well, Paula and Laura, he was officially known as CJ, even though he's been retired as Supreme Court Chief Justice since 1982. He's the man for whom the UH Law School was named, and he's also remembered as a devoted father, mentor, and friend. Yeah, William good. Richardson had an office at the UH Law School that bears his name, where he would offer advice to law students. It's definitely different than other law schools because we have the namesake here all the time, hanging out. Yeah. Showing up at parties. <laughs> <laughs> Richardson, who was 90, died early Monday, surrounded by family. He had been in declining health since suffering a stroke in April of this year. A Democratic Party chairman in the 1950s, Richardson was elected lieutenant governor under John Burns. He says when the chief justice's position opened up in 1965, Burns phoned his wife to see whether she thought Richardson should take the top judicial job instead of running to succeed Burns as governor. She just gave him the work. She told him that you know, I don't want my husband around politics anymore. If you name him Chief Justice, then he won't be in politics. That's the best part of that. He was Chief Justice of the Supreme Court for 17 years and wrote influential decisions giving public access to all beaches in Hawaii, unlike many places on the mainland. The only way to solve this is to say it's a naupaka line where the vegetation is, and everything else is for the public. Anybody else can walk on the beach. You may not go through the land, but you can come around and you can, the beaches are free. I think he was a, a bit of a maverick, but he always had his roots and his Hawaiian-ness in his mind when he made decisions. He loved Hawaiians. He also loved Hawaii. And so there are unique decisions in Hawaii which are attributable directly to Chief Justice Richardson. Richardson also served as a Bishop of State trustee for 10 years after retiring from the Supreme Court. To his grandchildren and nieces and nephews, he was known as Puna. He was very caring and supportive, and just I'm glad that I got to spend as much time with him as I did. Now, William Richardson said his experience as a boy in Waikiki helped him decide to preserve public access to Hawaii's beaches. That's because he remembered not being allowed in front of the Royal Hawaiian or Moana hotels as a kid, something that is allowed today thanks to a Supreme Court decision that he wrote. Kiyoki Kerr, KITV4 News. All right, thank you, Kiyoki, and mahalo to CJ for all the wonderful things he's done. Since news of Richardson's death, many people and politicians have written in to KITV4 to express their condolences. So a large crowd is expected at his visitation and memorial service next month. The public's invited to attend the visitation. That's Thursday, July 8th at the William Richardson School of Law at the University of Hawaii Manoa from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And on Friday, July 9th, a memorial service will be held at St. Andrew's Cathedral. The ceremony begins at 11.30 in the morning. A private burial will follow.